Hi, this is JP with SkinsForNing.com and this tutorial will show you how to import a pre-designed Ning theme that you purchased from SkinsForNing.com. We'll be using the Firefox web browser with an add-on for the Firefox web browser called Colorzilla. First thing we need to do is extract the contents of the zip file that you received when you purchased the theme. I am going to create a folder called Hold I'm going to use JZip to extract it. Click on my desktop, come down there, find the fold, highlight it, find hold and highlight it. Go ahead and close that out. Open it up. You have the images that we're using for the custom theme, the CSS that controls the theme, and our terms of service. Please read them. Very important that you don't break them. Anyways, so let's start off by copying this code. We're going to come over here and get into. Uh, we're going to click on manage, click on appearance, going to select all. Delete. Could just put paste, but let's just delete it and put paste now. Click save. We're going to come back over here. We're going to edit a text box. We're going to start uploading our images to our Ning network to get URL paths so they'll show up. So, first thing we do is we upload the body background. Hit enter twice. Go back. Let's get the header, then the menu image, and then the module header, then the module body background image. And then finally, the footer. Oops. We're going to come back up here. In between these quotation marks here, we're going to grab this URL path to the image. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back over here, get into our advanced area. We're going to come down here where it says sides. And another way to find it as well is you'll see that when you grab the image it said bg.jpg and it'll say the same thing here at the end bg.jpg that's one way to make sure you're matching it up and plus this tutorial should help you get pretty close with no trouble so let's go ahead and paste that in there let's come back and grab the header image I'm going to have to come back up since the header is at the top. Come back and grab the menu image. Which is in the navigation area. And there's two area, two two places you need to paste this. First one is here, and then the second one is below it. And then we're going to come back and get the module header, or it's abbreviated mod head. Come down here where it says module head. get my mouse to work right. And we'll come back at the module body background. This is going to go in a, one other place besides the uh, for the module body. We're going to put it in an area that is the uh, sign in sign up form area and put an image behind that as well. So here's the module body area.
And then all the way up here is a sign in sign up module on sign in sign up pages. This will put an image behind it. Control V. And then lastly, the footer image. Which should be down here. And then we're going to click save. And we're going to be having a problem here with this white background. Some of you will have a theme that you've chosen out of the Ning theme library that will have this header area assigned a color. And we want to remove that and change it to transparent to get rid of that. Then we want to change the background of the Google Ads since we can't control it with CSS to kind of to match the Ning network, the theme. So let's go ahead and use this color Zilla here. And anywhere I click, it'll tell me what color it is. And I'm going to click right in here. I'm going to right click over the eyedropper. I'm going to copy without the pound sign. I'm going to click on this module box. And I'm going to go in here, highlight it. And I'm going to paste that color in there. I'm going to click OK. And then another area that it will not control, CSS will not control, is the badge or the music player. They're flash-based items. So let's uh, let's change the color of those two while we're here. Let's make let's use the same Google co uh, background color for the ads and and make it the background color for the uh, badge and the uh, music player. We'll do the playlist a lighter color. Let's change the text to white. And then let's make the player itself a darker color. All right, click OK and let's go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and refresh it over here. Don't worry about this code. You don't need it anymore. And even though you don't save it in here in the text box, it will still be there within your Ning network to show your images. So we're going to go ahead and click Main. And now you've completely transformed your Ning network to resemble the theme that you purchased.